Good morning. We're going to get started. Thank you all for coming. And uh, I'm Jim Hodgson. That's my wife, Jen. She still, still likes me most of the time. So uh, this is Ryan, my friend Ryan O'Leary. And anybody met Ryan before? Okay. So um, these are two books that are going to be referenced in this short series. Bill Haas last week talked about this one. Uh, they'll be available um, for, for purchase or donation next week. A White Color Wrong Culture by Pastor Brian Loritz. And then this is White Man's Gospel by Craig Smith. Context of this book as it opens, 1973, Cass Lake High School. And a, and a public speaker saying when Craig Smith was a teenager that all our problems in Indian country would be solved if we could get rid of what? Human trafficking, drugs, alcohol. alcohol. No, the speaker said if we could get rid of the white man's gospel. And Craig Smith as a 15, 16 year old went, what? Where's that coming from? That's the context of this book. If you're not seeing them, so I'll just pass those around. Don't keep them yet. We'll, uh, we'll make, have them available next week for purchase. But this is Ryan. Ryan has a long resume list. Um, starts with hockey, <laughs> late college hockey at Denver, and uh, he is the business uh, program director at Leech Lake Tribal College. Um, he is a Baptist pastor, uh, adjunct professor at Oak Hills in the past. Um, he was the closing speaker at our United in Christ 2017 conference here, <coughs> and on the planning team for that, and I'm sure he'll be involved in that one for this coming summer. So. Uh, he and his wife, Kristen, have three boys, all hockey players. Not a lot, two of them. Two, okay. <laughs> Being a hockey parent, whew, it's a lot of stuff. So, uh, But Ryan just has a vast background. He's got the same pastor's de pastor degree as Pastor Jerry, and he's got an MBA. <clears throat> so just that, that excellence in business and in, in pastoral and in the theological studies. So, um, and, uh, so... Go for it. Thanks. 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 Morning. Uh, how many of you were here uh, last Sunday for uh, the first talk? Most of you were? Okay. I don't know if I'm going to repeat or not. I don't know uh, what was talked about, but I'll just give my presentation. Also, if you want to ask questions, feel free to do that. Um, I'm not going to just lecture the whole time. I'm going to ask you some questions for discussion, too. So uh, I'm not intending just to lecture the whole time I'm up here, but... Uh, the summer I want to move into it here today because we're a lot, we're um, kind of short on time. I think. How much is there a watch clock? There's a clock over there. There you go. Watch. Okay. We got to about 10:30, so we have about 40 minutes. So um, this seminar is called "From Trauma to Triumph," <clears throat> and uh, really, it's it's a seminar that's intended for me to be able to go into different churches or different settings to be awareness about Native people and uh, ministry to Native people groups. Um, standard Ojibwe introduction. How does, that, how does that work? Uh, this is how a standard Ojibwe introduction sounds like. I would say, Buju uh, Anishinaabe, Ryan O'Leary, Nindijinakaz, Makwa Nindu Dam, Asabi Kanazaga, Igani Nindujaba, Bamichigamab Ninda, Gwich, Dijayeg. What I said there is I started by giving you a personal greeting, Buju, it's hello, obviously, you see that around the church here, uh, and then Anishinaabe, the original people. Uh, and then you introduce yourself. Uh, I said the word Nindijinakaz, which means I call myself Ryan O'Leary. And then an Ojibwe introduction includes what clan you're from. And because my dad is from the Bear clan, uh, Bear in Ojibwe is called Makwa. It's the name Makwa. And Ninduda means uh, I am from the clan, the Bear clan. Uh, and then you talk about what tribe you're from. Because I'm an enrolled member of the Boys Fort Band of Ojibwe in northern Minnesota here, or Net Lake, some people call it Net Lake. I said the word Asabi Kanazaga Igani, which means Net Lake, uh, or Boys Fort. And then lastly, you talk about where you currently live, and because I live here in Bemidji, I said the word uh, Bemidji Gamag Nida, or I currently live in Bemidji. Um, this is a look at our tribal leadership at Boys Fort. Lady in the middle there is our tribal chief, our blonde haired tribal chief. Some people say, I look light, right? I want to our blonde haired tribal chief. <laughs> uh, and this guy, I won't go over all these people. This guy on the right here is actually a Christian. Now, his name is Dave Morrison. He's on the Minnesota Chippewa Tribe Tribal Executive Committee. So he's one of the probably more prominent leaders in the native country within the Minnesota Chippewa Tribe. 
If you don't know what the Minnesota Chippewa tribe is, it's, it's the six Ojibwe tribes together. Um, it's a governing body for the six Ojibwe tribes here in Minnesota. Dave is also a Christian. You see that? Not be, it's not because he has a cross on his, on his neck that makes him a Christian, but I believe this guy is a genuine Christian. Jesus lives inside of him. Uh, he goes to the Net Lake Baptist Church up there. So, incredible testimony the guy has. I remember when I worked up at Boys Ford to some of the things I've seen. Or didn't reflect godly character, and now I see him sitting in the church when I go to Nellie and preach. So exciting to see that. Hmm. You can see the land sector right here. We have one main land sector, uh, west, west or east of here, northeast of here a little bit, and then we also have a smaller land sector on Lake Vermilion where we have our tribal resort, Fortune Bay Resort, um, <coughs> is the other land sector that we have. Just uh, I wanted to just give you an overview of my past. Jim talked a little bit about my background and uh, my current work. So I've been a lead pastor of two churches. The first church I pastored was about 2000. I started pastoring a church called Indian Fellowship in South Minneapolis. We were a, a multicultural congregation, but really our ministry focus was reaching out to indigenous people in the Twin Cities. <clears throat> Along with that, I uh, served as a lead pastor uh, of a church just north of the Twin Cities in Isanti, Cambridge area for about seven eight years as well. I also work for uh, uh, On Eagles Wings. Who's heard of the ministry On Eagles Wings before? A couple of you have. It's a ministry to native young people between the ages of 16 to 35. We have a conference. We send summer ministry teams out made up of native young people to different reserves to share their testimonies, what we call hope stories. I also developed an initiative through the National Prayer Breakfast in D.C. One year while I was out there, uh, I saw a lack of native representation. And I uh, approached leaders about developing an initiative to bring Native people from around the country to this. We started that for, uh, started that and led that for uh, a couple of years. I also served on my tribe's economic development board. We built the casino, we built uh, the golf course, cultural heritage center, community center, uh, RV park and marina when I was on the board. And I've also been a, been a tribal government administrator overseeing tribal government pro programs at Boys Fort. And what I currently do right now is I serve as a business instructor at Lake Tribal College. I oversee the business program. I'm the only full-time business instructor at the school. We have several adjunct instructors. I've been doing that since um, uh, June, uh, January of 2016 is when I started that. And along with my role at the Tribal College, uh, I also serve on staff with my denomination, Converge, as a missionary. And we are seconded to a native evangelical ministry called Chief Faith, based out of Phoenix, that was responsible for putting the United Christ Conference together back in 2017 that was held here at the E-Free Church in Bemidji. So a bit about my background. I want to get you talking amongst yourselves so you're not listening to me lecture the whole time. Two questions for you I want to talk, I want you to talk about. First of all, what are some of the, some of the common perceptions that native people have both locally, here in the Bemidji area, and nationally, of indigenous people. And what do you think creates those conceptions or perceptions? Why don't you talk to with one person or just around you? Talk about that. What are some of the common perceptions that you think people have of indigenous people locally and nationally? Go ahead and talk about that. And then talk about how accurate or inaccurate do you think these perceptions are. Go ahead and talk about that. I'm going to give you about three minutes just for dialogue, then I want to talk for a couple minutes, share ideas, and then we're going to move on. Go ahead and share. 